so according to uh, YouTube's analytics, uh, you know, tells you how good your YouTube videos are doing, you guys can only pay attention for about five minutes of my videos. So instead of taking along every step of the way, I'm just going to start doing shit. <clears throat> so that way I can work on this, not having to worry about uh, filming, and you guys can just see the end product because that's obviously all you care about. So uh, yeah, moving on. All right, I got all my adjustment tacked up down here. Uh, kind of got it adjusted where I wanted to. Pulled the springs back out so we can cycle it up and down. Pinion angle looks really good through all of it. Nothing moves too bad. That's all the way down. You can see my notch over here. That's full squat, and when we put the tire up on there, there's still about yay much room between the fender. So that means we got around eight inches of travel, which I'm happy with for what we got thrown together here. So uh, yeah, let's weld her up. All right, so I got everything welded up, painted up back here, did my best to color match the rear end. As you can see, I failed miserably, but uh, I gotta send the arms off to powder coat, and that'll be pretty much it for back here. I'm gonna make some limiting straps, but that's whatever. Uh, onto the front now. I'm going to be ripping this out, and I've got something else to put back in, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so this is what I got going on in the front. This is a twin I-beam front suspension out of a one-ton Ford van. I just cut the belly cross member out of the van, or actually Andrew did it at the junkyard. Um, and then I kind of notched out the belly cross member on the car, and I made it the two together. I'm going to have to make some filler panels and do a bunch of welding, that's not important. So I'll get that taken care of, then we got a cut out the spring buckets and move some spring buckets out focus there and we can uh, build some spring buckets and I also need to build drop brackets for the uh, pivot points because uh, if I leave them where they're at we're basically at stock ride height and that's no fun so uh, yeah gonna make some like three or four inch drop brackets there and back here and then figure the steering out so uh, yeah let's get after that all right guys, there we go. With a little bit of uh, movie magic, I got my drop brackets done. Them turned out pretty all right. Now I got to trim the old spring buckets out and then uh, I think I'm gonna cut the spring buckets off of the van frame pieces and uh, just kind of retrofit them back in there again just to save time. Um, yeah, spring buckets, shocks, radius arm mounts, steering, uh, yeah, you get the gist. Uh, I think I'm going to call that a video for now. Got to go back to work tomorrow because, you know, life is awesome. Uh, yeah, if you want to see me finish this thing, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks again.